Well, it's, uh, it's pretty cool to be able to do this kind of stuff and actually, um, you know, do these kind of experiments and see exactly what goes on in here and what does what when it's actually put, applied uh, in real life. So, um, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do uh, the, a test, a good test for this is, um, let's see here, we're going to be, when I pull this key out, you'll see how the pins move, okay? Them moving smoothly like that and not getting stuck in any one position is exactly what we want to see. So the dry Teflon right here is a perfect example of what we want to see. We want to see that move and everything moves nice and easy in there. We also are looking for burning. That means that's a sign of the, uh, the lubricant deteriorating or breaking down. Obviously, there's not very much of that here, if not any at all. Uh, so this is a perfect prime example of why I use this lubricant and why it works so well. It's 100% dry and it doesn't leave any film behind. So we can go ahead and take a look at the uh, at this and you'll see and notice that there's no burning, there's no debris inside, there's no everything's nice and clean in there. That's what we want to see. Even through the water and all the other testing and everything else, um, it, it still managed to survive and do that well. Uh, and I have the springs and everything over here that we can take a look at as well. So we can take a look at these springs. Notice the pins aren't very dirty. Cylinder's not burnt. Nothing crazy is going on there. Um, and that is the 100% dry. Um, the next one, we'll just go ahead and get onto it, is the tri-flow here. Now you can start to see all the debris uh, and, and things that are in there. And then the, the uh, stuff that's sticking to it because it's that oily lubricant. Uh, and this was one of my favorites, uh, the Triflow. So, you know, it, it, it just goes to show that you never know until you really put it in the field and see what it does. You also notice some burning going on here. Uh, that's the material starting to break down again. And then look inside. Oh my goodness. Who thought Triflow would have that much junk and gunk sticking in there? Um, so, um, once again, you're just never going to know until we put it to the test. And then we go ahead and pull this out and see how they stick. They should not do that. They should all fall right back down into place. And this is why we don't put oil-based lubricants into a lock. This is exactly the prime example. All that stuff builds up and see how it doesn't fall back down. Now, I know inside there the springs force it down, but if you ever had a spring collapse or get over over crushed or something like that, um, you know, this is going to be the result and it's going to be a lock that fails. So Triflow um, is not one of my better suggestions. Uh, it's a good lubricant uh, for, for other things, uh, but for locks, I would not say so. Um, let's see here. Now we got our PTFE spray right here. We can notice a little bit of gunk sticking on there and it started to darken a little bit, but not much. Now again, those just pop right in and out, see? Right in and out. And um, move very smoothly. So, you know, for, for a lubricant right here, this is now a very, very good lubricant. Um, in my opinion, there is a little bit of debris that's stuck on there, uh, but nothing too crazy. It doesn't look as bad as the other ones. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the pins there. And the cylinder, and then we'll check out the cylinder right here. Not very much gunk stuck in there. Uh, pretty clean, to be honest, really. So, PTFE spray uh, does pretty darn good. Um, you know, this was kind of disappointing. I really like this uh, this lubricant, and in from what the packaging says, it's supposed to be a, a semi-dry formula, uh, but it did seem to to collect quite a bit of gunk on here. Um, and if we move that up, you can see how those pins stick again. We don't want to see that. We sh they should all drop back down in there, and they don't. So let's we'll insert that key again. And again, they're not falling back down. So that is not a good sign. I am not going to be using this lubricant for locks anymore simply because of that right there. Take a look inside the cylinder. Had a little bit of burning, a little bit of browning on this one, but nothing too major, nothing too bad. So, 
So, you know, maybe bicycle chains, stuff like that, um, might be something good for that. Uh, and here's our WD-40. Um, you can notice significant uh, charring. So it, it does start to break down pretty good uh, with the heat seems to be what did that. And then once again, the gunk inside. So WD-40, kind of the dirty word here. Um, it's not the worst, uh, but it's, it's, it's not very good either. Um, go ahead and pick this up. Try this. So we are still getting some sticking. They should all fall down. They are not doing so. And once again, those pins sticking up there. So not the worst, um, but far from the best as well. Uh, let's get a little picture of the close up of the pins right here. Turn. So that's the pins and the cylinder with the WD-40. Uh, moving right along, we've got our silicone spray. And with our silicone spray, let's see what we got here. We have some dirt and debris sticking in there, um, but not too bad. And then most of the pins fell back down into place here. Um, most of them did. So this one isn't too bad either, but you can still see you'd rather not have that kind of gunky stuff built up in there. Um, that would definitely not be ideal as opposed to the, the, the dry formulas that we've used. Um, so let's set that back down. Take a look inside the cylinder. See, there is some goop in there, um, but not, not too bad either. Uh, now we got our white lithium grease. Go ahead and I thought this one might be the worst one of them all. You can see once again we're sticking. Um, so it is a, it is one of the heaviest compounds out of all of them. So you're definitely going to have that stuff sticking in there like that. Um, and there's inside of here. So you can see we had plenty of gunky buildup in there, but it didn't seem to burn or break down too bad. Uh, so it did handle the heat very well. Uh, if this is something that, you know, um, maybe you need to lubricate something that's going to continuously be cleaned and then re-lubricated, this could be a good idea, but um, not, I mean, it's not the best here. Uh, so let's take a look at these pins and definitely see that there's some stuff sticking on them here. And that's going to be a white lithium grease. Uh, and then we have our good old graphite. Uh, I hate to say it, but man, this thing, this, this graphite did awesome. Um, everything's moving nice and smooth in there. Uh, you know, no gunky buildup. Uh, did pretty much the same thing the Teflon did. Uh, so, you know, kudos to graphite. I just hate working with it because it makes a mess out of everything. Um, it's just so darn hard to, to keep clean with that when you're working with it. And then again, the cylinder right here, um, looking very, very well as well. Nice and clean, nothing breaking down. Um, even though it's black graphite going in there, that still managed to be one of the cleanest ones of them all uh, in terms of, you know, what the cylinder looks like afterwards. So after doing this testing, I'm going to put these in my order. Um, we're going to use that as number one. We're going to use that as number two. Use this as number three. Uh, use this as number four. Uh, what else did we have here? Try flow. This will be the order in how I would rank these uh, from beginning to end, favorite to least favorite. Um, in terms of everything working properly here. So we got our 100% uh, dry Teflon. Um, we got our graphite. We got PTFE spray. We got uh, silicone spray, tri-flow, uh, multi-purpose Teflon, semi-dry, uh, WD, and then the white lithium grease. So that was fun. Uh, I hope everybody learned something. And uh, now the, the truth is out there and you actually see what it looks like 
Remember, the worst things for locks is heat, water, and dirt. Um, and any of the lubricants that have oil-based um, oil based stuff in them, they're going to attract that kind of stuff. Uh, and they're going to break down in the heat. The only thing they're going to do is provide some resistance to moisture. But um, it's kind of not worth it in the long run. So thanks for watching. Check out the website below. Please subscribe. And uh, stay tuned in case we do some more testing on other products.